Alright, this video I want to speak about a new split stretcher that we received, um, that I ordered. And my views on the split stretcher is a machine. Um, the regular price might run around $200 and with shipping it might be around $250. But um, if you get a really good deal on it, it can get under $200. Now, I was hesitant about buying this before because of space requirements. Um, it does take up some space and you need adequate space for this equipment. Another thing is I try not to be too dependent on equipment. I want to try to figure out more easier and natural ways of developing your flexibility. Obviously stretching with the, on the floor is one of the most beneficial and um, cost efficient ways of gaining flexibility. Also having um, partners or people that can push up your feet for you at, you know as you're you know up against the wall that will definitely work in your flexibility but notice you would have to use somebody's assistance to have you push your feet up right and that a lot of times you might not have that opportunity or somebody that's training with you to help you do that and also that it's not as efficient and time wise you know because now one person has to push their feet out and the other person has to push their feet out. It takes too much time. Another one is stretching against the wall, you know, doing the front leg stretch and the side kick stretch against the wall. That's very effective as well. Now, I wanted to get this equipment to try it out to see my real thoughts on it. And I'm going to share these thoughts for today. I do have a, a Todai who, who bought three types of stretching devices, the ones where you turn the wheel. Now, he said that he bought three of them, and they all three of them broke. But he's a bigger guy, over 215 pounds, and a lot of resistance coming from his legs, and um, I, I believe that that contributed to the breakdown of the machine. Maybe there might be a weight limit on the machine. But this brand that I got is a different type of uh, machine where you push this lever down like this in order to spread the legs out. Um, so it's not the wheel operated one. This one may be a higher quality. Now, using this, what I do like about it is that it's comfortable. You're sitting on these cushions and you got these cushions that come off that go against your knees to help you feel more comfortable. You're sitting on a cushion and you got a cushion backrest. You got some cushion underneath your legs right here. Another thing that I like about it is that there is a measurement of degrees of how far you are um, stretching. So right now it's at 50, I go right here, it's at 80, I go more, it's at 120, and it goes all the way up to 180 degrees. Now, there is the markers of 200 and 190, but it doesn't go that far, the markers are just there. But it doesn't allow you to go beyond 180. 180 is supposed to be this full split, but what I do notice is that if you do it against the wall and you have the people push your feet against the wall, it's a lot harder than this. This is actually easier. Um, the measurement is very useful because then you can see where you're at. One week you might be at 130 and then the next week you might push for 140 and so on and so forth until you get to 180. Now, you can rest here and just relax, move your feet around and this will loosen up those muscles in that area. This padding right here really does help um, calm your muscles. Um, as you keep moving, right now it's at 140 and I can still relax and calm myself. Now, as far as my recommendation on this product, I do recommend it. I, I, I like it because it's something where it can get you to stretch more often. And you can just sit and talk, watch TV while you're stretching. And you can do multiple sets. So say I'm at 140 right now, and then I want to rest a little bit. Or say I go a little bit more, to challenge it a little bit more. This is 160 right here, all right? And I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Maybe I'll go a little more. That's 160, actually. That was 158 before. This is 160. And say I want to release it. I quickly release it, and then now I can uh, get another set in there, relax a little bit, and then immediately get right back into it. Now this is a, a great benefit, you know, and 
The problem with having somebody else push your legs out is it just takes time, valuable training time. You know, to use somebody else's time for 30 minutes long to stretch, it's a lot to ask for, especially if you do it every single day. So here right now, right here using this device, you don't have to worry about asking somebody for somebody else's help to push your feet out. You know, and this does give a different stretch than against the floor. Um, you keep that back straight. It's not as stressful because when you're going against the floor, you're using your arms to help you um, stay up there so you don't go down too fast and that tenses up your body. But when you're sitting here, you, you can relax more. While you get into the split, you relax more and you can straighten out your back and just relax. It's easier to relax like this than it is to have your hands on the ground and then you're trying to prevent yourself from going down too low because it's hurting. So right now, I'm starting to feel a little bit. It's at 150 now. Now it's at 160. And I'm just relaxing my feet, relaxing my legs. I'm starting to feel it, okay? So this split stretcher is something that I do recommend, but you know, there is concern that it may break down. Um, I believe that if you're a bigger person, if you weigh over 200 pounds, there, there could be a chance that this could break on you because there's just so much tension on your legs that it's putting, it, it's putting a lot of pressure on this device and it could break it. Um, it's operated by these wire cables and all it takes is one of these wire cables to snap and then all of a sudden the machine's not going to work and you have to find a way to replace those cables. So that's one of the downfalls. Um, but other than that, you know, I really like this, the, the, the machine and I do recommend it. Right now it's about 168, almost 170. So I'm almost at 180, but I'm not really too warmed up right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to go all the way. This 170 right there, and I'm starting to feel it a lot. I'm going to release that pressure. Give myself some time to relax. Now I could get to 180 when I'm warmed up, um, and I do feel it, but it's not excruciating pain. I can still withstand the pain, but it definitely is not as hard as against the wall. Um, but this definitely is a great device to help with the split stretching. And let's see how I do. Keep going. See if I can get to 180 on this video. This is 160 right here. It's 170. And this is 180 right there. This is the full one. And I'm not going to hold it too long because it does hurt. Alright, so there we go right there. Um, introduction to the split stretcher. And you should probably see me on video using this while I do some Felicia videos. Um, it's just something where I think it's great. You know, like stretching while speaking and getting used to that position so I can just become more flexible. Now. I'm going to make another video after this one speaking about equipment in general and you know I know for sure for a fact that I've, I've started off promoting people to utilize the environment, to utilize their own body weight, to utilize cost efficient ways to train but I see that there's other aspects to training as well that you can benefit from as far as the use of equipment is concerned and I'm going to go over that um, in the next video. But I hope this video does help out. You're going to see much more videos in the future um, showing this type of equipment and how we've been utilizing it and benefiting from it.